Hey, Frogman here. No, no, don't, don't, don't fast forward past me. I know, I know, I know, I know you're used to me shilling my eyeballs. And my frogs are pinching me right now for not shilling my eyeballs. But listen, I think there's something seriously wrong with Maniac. Yes, yes, I think, I think he's got the sickness. No, 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 not that one. Not that one. But he's really thinking about opening up a Zendikar Rising draft booster box. Frogman? Oh, crap, here he comes. Here you go. What's going on, guys? Maniac here. Mage's Archive. Yep, you heard Frogman. I am indeed going to do it. I'm going to open a regular. Yep, that's right. A... Super simple Zendikar Rising draft booster. And uh, nobody else is. Like, Zendikar Rising is doing what the other sets were getting really close to do. And I know um, Eldraine's pretty much there. I think Theros is pretty close. But Zendikar Rising is already at the point. Just, what, a few weeks after launch. Where... The non-foils and the non-borderless, not just the regular, super regular cards are actually worth more than the foil variants. Not the expeditions, though. Those are the foils of those are still worth more. But I do have two of these, so we're gonna kind of pretend that this is a collector booster. And let's see, uh, let's see if the value keeps up. Yeah, what do you guys think? Let's do it. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm honestly kind of excited to uh, just crack a regular Zendikar booster box. Like, I know most people are not doing it, so uh, I'm going to be the guy, the maniac, who does it. So let's, uh, let's enjoy our journey together. Let's do it. And our first rare is a Crawling Barons. And, ooh, a little Concerted Defense Foilage. And some Full Art Landage. And a token. All right, not the craziest start. But who knows? I'm honestly kind of, like, I think there's a Borderless back there. But I am uh, really curious to see uh, you know, what we're going to get out of this little crack mall, a little canopy baloth, an island, and oh, ha, fooled you, jackass, oh, well then, um, so no more randomly seeing the border of what looks like a borderless card at the back of your draft booster and thinking that you've got one in there because yeah <laughs> Ooh, a little delicate exploration and a plane a plane plane i thought um the full arts were supposed to be like set booster only. I thought the draft booster was supposed to have like regular non full arts in it. Hey, Night Health Scavenger. I'm not too sure how that one's holding up. I know it uh it was pretty well up there. I mean it's it's, it's still a darn good card. Still a very, very good card. So, I am quite curious. Oh wait, I don't want to go that crazy. And it's a mythic. Ooh, Scourge of the Skyclaves. For our first little old mythic there. Man, all these foils. Like, that is... Feels like a lot. But I guess, um, I mean, why not, right? Like, it's not like they're, you know, valuable. <laughs> a 
Okay, a little inscription of the insight. So, um, yeah, I, I don't know if you guys have heard this, but there are quite a bit of rumors. Hey, River Glide Pathway with the lava glide on the back it's so weird seeing just a regular regular old pathway but yeah sorry um i don't know if you guys heard the rumors but there are rumblings of which you may have heard of this one of uh, jumpstart restocks coming very soon but also mystery booster restocks that's right so keep your eyes and ears open for those mystery boosters i'm pretty excited i i, I hope the rumors are true because i you know i didn't get to uh, open as many mystery boosters as i would have liked full art mountainage Oh, and um, how about all that Commander Legends leaking going on? Like, uh, that stuff is nuts. And I can only imagine folks over at Wizards are not very pleased because they are just, just flat out ruined spoiler season. But, yeah. I guess that's what happens when uh, you delay the whole thing by a couple weeks. And you still send it to people. Like, I don't know about that one. Don't know about that one. Don't get you expect it. Everybody, everybody, everybody is looking for an opportunity to get attention. I mean, hello. Maniac here, Mage's Archive. <laughs> Another Crawling Barons. Okay. But, uh... <laughs> um... Yeah, like, like, if you're gonna toss out... You know... A product that doesn't release for another... What? Month? And expect... Them to just leave it in their sealed boxes yeah hey a little crag crownage and the timber crown on the back hey tuck tuck rubble fort oh i mean it's not tuck tuck but it's tuck tuck right right oops guess i went a little too far there Skyclave Shade in the showcase art. And it is getting a decent amount of, you know, showcases and foils. Like, I, I didn't, I was not expecting the, uh, the amount of showcase and foils to uh, be this much. And, and maybe that's why, like, the normal cards are really starting to tick up over the, the, the non-normals. I mean, I guess if you're, you know, even cracking open draft boosters and you're getting a, a ton of uh, foils and stuff out of it, in addition to, you know, the, the crazy amount that you're going to get out of the uh, collector booster, or even a set booster for that matter. Tell you what, though, nothing too crazy coming out of here. Hey, man. I like, sometimes I, I feel like I am psychic. Like, every time I want to start talking about how there's nothing good coming up, boom, there it is. There it is. All 
right, a little Cargan Intimidator. I don't even think I've seen that card. Hey, Mala Skyclaves Foil. I'm not mistaken, I think that one actually has a little value still. Oh. Archon of Emeria. Definitely a bit shy in the mythics. And then again, I mean, like, I think I was complaining about the same thing when I uh, did my Core 19 video and I ended up with a very, very decent bit. Oops. Okay. Oh, yeah. You saw that twice. Swarm Shambler. It's a Swarm Shambler. It's a Swarm. Have you guys been opening up any regular draft boosters? You guys doing any draft events at all? Or like, at least, you know, like a big of you and your buddies picking up a draft booster and, you know, hey, Seagate Restoration. I haven't seen that card in a while. Not too shabby. Our second little mythic there. Oh, yeah, there's that. But that, that's pretty much where that extra box topper came from. Figured I'd hold on to it and uh, do a little double. Oh, there's another mythic coming up. <laughs> it's a Shia, Soul of the Wild. See, this is what I'm talking about. Like, like I started complaining about how there were like no mythics, and then boom, it's just like a bunch of mythics. Here they come. Here they come. Just out of the old blue there. Oh, 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 those are uncommons. Uncommons. Huh. Wow. I have never seen the regular version of that card. I like it a lot. I think I like that more than the showcase. Like, oh, look at the freaking. Is that a bow? Is that, is, uh, no, I think, the, I don't know what, it looks like a bow though, whatever that is, I guess it's just like glowing antler type horns or something. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I genuinely like that art better than the showcase variant. <laughs> hey, another pathway, the old branch loft there. With the bowler loft on the back rune. So we're doing pretty good on the flippy flop lands. Getting a decent number of them. Oh, I'll showcase common there. And Nahiri's litho formation. And the regularness. I guess I, I like, um, this is, like, kind of relaxing. <laughs> like, opening collector boosters all the time, you know, it's like you never get to really catch a breath, but... Wow, another Ashaya! Holy cow. All right, then. It really wanted me to have Ashaya there. Is, is that a... No, I thought that was a duplicate um, green, too. I thought I, uh... Pulled that and foiled like just a pack ago. Are you not complaining? I will take a duplicate of Shia. And Linvala of the Seagate. Yep, that Seagate. Yeah, yep, you see what I did there? I know. I know. Maniac's dumb. It happens. <laughs> Gotta have some fun in your life. Cons and do a monmouth with the valley on the back. The old flippy flop mammoth. When your mammoth flips, your land flops. I'll tell you a coup warrior there. I was like, well, maybe maybe there's a fury coming up. But 
Nope. That'd be kind of cool to have a regular Fury of Akum pop up there. Yeah? Yeah, I, I agree. Oh, my word! Are you kidding me right now? Just like that. Like, yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Maniac over here talking smack about the Akum. There he is. And all of his glorious fury. And a little giganto island crab. Hey, Fry Man. And hit it with a shampoo. Yeah, I can't do a good curl. I tried. I'm sorry. I tried. And... Oh, another Nighthawk Scavenger. I hope the Nighthawk is still uh, holding up some value. The second one tonight. Ooh. Almost too far there. I do like that art, though, on the Mind Carver. And, ooh, hey, look, borderless. Oh, and a foil base camp in the back there with the Merc water. Not too Chevy. Yeah, I think that was, yeah, that's, that's our first borderless. I mean, we've had a bunch of showcases. I mean, I guess technically the rarity is supposed to be about the same. It's just... Ooh. Squad Commander. Ooh, and a foil of Kiri. Old Kiri. Got two packs left. Holy cow. Where did it all go? Cha ching That would be my phone. And a Zarathsan, the trickster. It's quite the tricky fella there. Last pack. Let's see if we can get some of that last pack magic. And our final card is it's a rare description of insight. Alrighty. Well let's see how these do. Um I wish I would have separated them though, so I know exactly, you know, the value of the actual box, but oh well. And our first expedition is a luxury suite. Not too bad. That's a really, really good commander card there. Looks like it's a little off center. Yeah, just uh, just a hair off center. I remember the first time I snagged one of those, cracking open some Battle Bond. I was freaking stoked. I want to say it was foil, too, if I remember. I'm pretty sure it's on video. And number two is Prismatic Vista. Very, very nice. Okay, there. I can dig it. Those are two pretty good expeditions. I am not unhappy with this. Um... We'll see how things go during editing when I look up uh, how the values have plummeted. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed. You know, if you did, hit that old like button, Rooney. And until next time, take it easy.